Welcome to What's Now. I'm your host, Christine Napier. Thank you everyone for joining us today. We have an exciting episode coming your way all about your health. Also, how your metropolitan city stacks up with COVID-19 against other cities, how we can help small businesses and much more. But up first, DIY projects during the winter months can be a lot of fun. Which spaces should you embrace? What should you work on first? We have some ideas for you right now. After an extended season of outdoor entertaining and parties on the patio, winter weather is now forcing most of the country back indoors. With reduced travel and multiple family members working and studying from home, the stresses and strains on your home will increase. Home improvement and safety expert Tom Kreitler is going to demonstrate his favorite fix-ups and do-it-yourself projects as we head into winter with a focus on improvements that really help quality of life right and maximize your space no matter the size. Tom, thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much, Christine. Happy holidays. You know, safety is on everybody's mind. So what do we need to do to keep our homes safe? And what are we probably doing wrong? Yeah, that's a great question. Let's start with talking about cleaning because we're certainly doing a lot of that these days. But something you might not know is that to fully decontaminate a surface, the experts at the CDC and major manufacturers like Simple Green remind us that we need to clean before we disinfect or CBD for short because germs can hide underneath all that dirt. So the right way to clean, say, a countertop, for example, would be to clean it first with a product like Simple Green's All-Purpose Cleaner. And then you are going to remove all the visible dirt, dust, and grease first. And then you can apply a disinfectant. That will kill any bacteria or viruses that remain. Just make sure you follow the directions on the disinfectant so that it has time to work. Now, another area of improvement for safety are smoke detectors. Now that we're in the winter season, is this fire season, uh, these incidents will spike. Both fire and carbon monoxide incidents go up during this time. And it turns out that more than half, or half of the cases are due to a lack of functioning smoke alarms. So a good time to upgrade what you have. This is a new one out from First Alert. It's called the First Alert Connected Safety 2-in-1 Smoke Alarm and Carbon Monoxide Alarm. It's battery operated designed to give you an early warning of fire or carbon monoxide emergencies. It works with the Ring Alarm Security Kit and other Z-Wave apps. So from your phone, you'll be notified of any emergencies, whether you're home or away. And because it needs no wiring, it's great for older houses. But these detectors are wirelessly interconnected. That means if one goes off, they all go off. So if you had one in the attic and there was a fire up there, the detector down on the first floor of your house would alert at the same time and keep you safe. And so many people are at home now, it can feel like the walls are closing in. So how can we manage and the wear and tear during this indoor season and really maximize our space? Well, we're all looking for more space these days, that's for sure. And basements are a great untapped space if you haven't tackled that project in your house. They give you a good return on investment. They can be a home office or a gym or any kind of family space. Uh, but they can be cold and damp. So a good place to start is by adding dry core subfloor panels. These are very unique. These subfloor panels go down on top of the concrete and in bet and between the concrete and the finished floor, and they have air gap technology. That means they're going to protect you against moisture and mold and mildew and keep that basement floor dry and comfortable throughout the entire year. In fact, those floors can feel as much as 15 to 20 degrees more comfortable and, by and warmer just by adding the dry core first. You'll really learn to love that basement as the new favorite hangout space for your family. And as you mentioned, we're definitely putting our homes through a lot of wear and tear now. Uh, and so you need to think about appliances that you might need to update. And your water heater is certainly one that you don't want to let go too long uh, because it could leak. And that can't happen, though, if you upgrade your water heater now with this new product from Ream. It's called the Gladiator water heater. I love this because it's got built-in 360-degree leak detection. It's going to find the leaks, large and small, inside or out. First, the leak sense, which is a band around the bottom of the water heater, will detect any leaks. And then the leak guard, which is the valve at the top, will automatically shut off the water supply. So there will be no chance that you could have a lot of water leak out of a water heater that leaked. It's just really cool technology. It's going to limit leaks to no more than 20 ounces. And it's got some smart home technology built into it that allows you to monitor the leaks, adjust the temperature, enable a vacation mode, and even tell you how much hot water you have so you'll never run out mid-shower. You know, home improvement projects are exploding in popularity during the age of COVID. What are you hearing from your podcast listeners, The Money Pit, about popular projects, and are you seeing any trends? 
Yeah, you know, painting and decorating is really big right now um, because as we move into winter, you know, it gets darker earlier. So we want to lighten, brighten those rooms. And I love that painting and decorating forces to kind of reorganize at the same time because you've got to empty the whole space. Also, flooring projects are always popular on the floor, and we're seeing them now into winter. A lot of flooring products are really DIY installations today, so that's something you definitely do yourself. Um, we're seeing a lot of gardening projects that happen throughout the spring and the winter. There's never been a bigger season for that. And then folks are also taking on those pro big projects that they've been putting off for a while because now they're home, they have the time, maybe they have a bit of additional income because they're not going out as much. So we're talking about projects like kitchens and bathrooms. We have never been busier on our National Home Improvement Show in terms of the questions that we get from our audience about projects they want to do uh, than we have been since the pandemic started uh, last spring. Now, where can we find out more about everything we've discussed today? Also, mm -hmm. listen to your podcast and find your book. Yeah, you can go to our website at moneypit.com. Uh, you can download the podcast at moneypit.com slash podcast. Our book is called my Home, My Money Pit, Your Guide to Every Home Improvement Adventure. That's on Amazon. And if you have questions about projects that you're thinking about doing or one you're kind of stuck in the middle of, you can always reach out to us via the podcast by calling us at 1-888-MONEYPIT. That's a 24-7 number. You can leave us your, your question, and we will call you back the next time we're in the studio and help you out. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Tom Kreitler, for joining us today and giving us those great tips for our home during this winter season. Thank you and have a great holiday.